What's up, y'all? I know it's been a minute since I posted a video, but I seen this a little while ago, and I gotta, I gotta talk about it. It just makes me have mixed feelings about this. So, shout out to RB Philly Take as well. He has great content on my Sixers basketball. Him <clears throat> is also at Run It Back Philly and a couple other people. But those are the main two I watched to get updates on Sixers and things like that. So I make sure I put the information in the description. But R.A.B. said this about, a, I want to say like a little over a week ago, Joel Embiid is having one of the greatest seasons in NBA history, and people are still not talking about it because of past playoff results. Don't overlook greatness. Now, R.A.B., again, I love you. Your content is great. I can't agree with this. Sure, I'm Joel Embiid is dominating, but I love the Sixers, and I'm a, and I'm a big Joel Embiid fan. Joel Embiid has not performed well against top Eastern Conference teams. The points, the, the games where he's scoring crazy points is against teams he's supposed to score crazy points against, like the Hawks, Charlotte, <clears throat> Toronto, Detroit. You know what I mean? It's like those teams, like, who cares about these teams? Like, you should be able to dominate. Mean, you're MVP. You feel what I'm saying? But you get MVP, you got it's a certain stature you have to maintain as an MVP of the league. Now, I highly doubt he's going to get MVP again this year. I highly doubt that. I think I would rather give it to... Shake uh, Gildrick Alexander from the Thunder, him right now, or maybe Luca, because Luca's having a pretty crazy year too. But anyway, Joel Embiid has to show up against big teams. He hasn't performed well, like against Boston, Miami, uh, the Bucks. You know those teams. He just underperforms, and it's, it bothers me. I'm like Joel Embiid, you are capable of dominating any game. He's proven that in the NBA. It's not easy scoring that many points in the NBA. I agree with you, but if you have to, the height, the weight, and the skill of Joel Embiid, you're supposed to do that. You know, him and Maxie have been doing their thing in Philly along with other people we got. But <clears throat> And another thing I'm starting to peep too, Joel Embiid, every time we got to play against a good uh, Eastern Conference matchup, he's not there. It's like he don't play. It's like, why you're not playing against this team? Like this, For me to be a believer of you again, Embiid, you have to play against top teams in the East and dominate and win. Like, not, I'm not going to say dominate because that's not realistic because Boston always has a recipe to lock them up. Play good. Good, I mean, like, get 20-plus points, 10-plus rebounds, and help get your team to W. It's like against top Eastern Conference team, he don't show up. So, I, I agree. He, he is just that wild. He's playing crazy. He's still underperforming. He's great. I love him playing in Philly. But until he will do something against these top Easter Conference team and also do something in the playoff, I can't really be a supporter of Joel Embiid with his stats right now. I just can't. But y'all let me know in the comments below. Y'all agree, agree with his take. Y'all agree with my take. Let me know. Let's talk about it.